This video chart presentation of Motricity. Motricity is a NASDAQ stock trading on ticker MOTR. You can see right off this had a nice day yesterday, closed up 13%. Good volume, almost 2 million shares traded. You can see in the last nine months, this has gapped down once, twice, three times. So it's going to hit the watch list now to see if this is going to try and recover. It's lost a lot of traction. I'm up here over $18 to all the way down near a dollar this year. Let's take a quick look at these indicators, see if they're giving us any hints of potential reversal. You can see right off, nice climb going on with the MACD back towards zero. It's in a pretty tough channel, so be watching to see if it can break through this. See right around that area. It's going to be key to see if it's going to finally break through the top side of this and potentially make its way back through zero. Not exactly lined up, but basically a PPO ADX pinch. PPO trending back towards zero now. A second type of pincher set up with the ADX. Again, very nice position, potential strong upward movement. MFIs all moving basically together. Looking like they're going to try and push through 50. That's nice positioning. Accumulation distribution. Trending just slightly upward. But it's a good sign it's not still diving off. It looks like it may be trying to put an end to this downward channel. We don't really have a valley yet here in the shaking money flow. You can see something along those lines what you'll be looking for. Some higher lows. Selling pressure has clearly been dominant, but that's pretty much expected with the way the price per share has been diving off. Now he's looking for some signs that some buying pressure is becoming stronger. Nice look to the CCI. Full stow showing some momentum coming into the play. And the trick's actually trending upward at this point. All pretty good signs for MOTR. Also show a little bit of upward pressure in the RSIs, showing some momentum still trying to come into this play. So the indicators show there's a pretty decent chance of this trying to continue to push upward. But you just use those indicators as some hints. You come back and rely upon the candles. I'd look for this dollar forty five mark to hold as a new support. I wouldn't really want to see this come down and test a dollar nineteen. Support in this area is pretty strong, so any pullback in the near term, I definitely want to see it hold that. On the upside, resistance is pretty strong right there around $2. Now this closed at $1.73, so it is a pretty nice move just from a percentage standpoint to go up and test that resistance. There's going to be more right through this whole area of about $240 up to $260. Also worth noting, here comes the 50-day moving average. Of course, climbing above that is a big deal from a technical standpoint. You want to see it get on top of it and then continue to trend over it. Beyond that, it's just substantial moves to try and hit some more resistance. Right there at the old high of 330. And then, of course, filling the gap up over top of $4. Right now, I like the position of this chart. I like the way the indicators are giving hints this could be a true bottom for this play. I have no idea fundamentally what's going on with them. Of course, some due diligence is always encouraged to see what's causing this big fall. But from a technical standpoint, it's looking pretty nice for a potential reversal. So I'm going to throw it on the watch list from here forward. I want to see it hold that support level and see how it reacts to these resistance points. As always, this is merely my interpretation of the MOTR chart. Thank you for watching and trade smart.